Hey there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Parallax plugin for Figma. We will create this Parallax animation by mouse movement. First, install the Parallax plugin. You can do this by going to the Figma Community Plugins page and searching for Parallax. Once you find it, click on the Try It Out button and the plugin will be added to your Figma account. To reproduce this animation install another plugin, Blobs. After that go to the Figma project, create a frame of your screen resolution. Use the plugin Blobs to create color blobs. You are required to generate blobs that extend from the center to the edges of the designated area, proceeding sequentially towards the right and left. Afterward, you should select all the blobs and relocate them to the frame. Let us proceed with designing the demonstration UI for the header, incorporating an abmedexter font of 300 pixels. Furthermore, we would like to add a descriptive text with black color using the Montserrat font. Medium weight, with a font size of 18 pixels and letter spacing set to 1%. An uppercase button with a letter spacing of 4% shall be added. We suggest using a font size of 24 pixels. To add a stroke effect to the button create auto layout, add a stroke, make edges rounded and increase a horizontal padding to 24 pixels. Please ensure that the button is appropriately positioned in the frame. Let us apply some magic. Please open the plugin Parallax and navigate the cursor to the emulator area to view the animation. Looks impressive. However, it is necessary to immobilize the UI components. To accomplish this, kindly add a lock function to all elements that require immobilization. There are some settings to enhance the Parallax animation. Firstly, by increasing or decreasing the Parallax effect. There is an option to group the elements that require freezing and apply a lock exclusively to this group. Another possibility is to selectively freeze certain axes, vertical or horizontal. Furthermore, Selecting the outside mode of animation can accelerate the movement of background layers compared to those in the foreground. The plugin offers a library of templates, showcasing completed animations that can be achieved using this tool. Once you're happy with your parallax effect, export your animation by clicking on the export button, which will initiate a countdown. Once the countdown is complete, the plugin will record your mouse movements until you choose to stop the recording by either clicking the space button on your keyboard or clicking the stop button. At this point, you can select the preferred export format, which includes HTML, SVG, GIF, and WebM. Let us explore the HTML export option by opening the file in a web browser. The animation will function identically to its appearance in the plugin. This exported file can be shared with developers and incorporated into a website. Alternatively, you may opt to export the animation in SVG format. In this case, you have the option to enable or disable cursor display. SVG animations can be opened through a web browser and boast high quality at a relatively small file size of 287 kilobytes. This format is particularly well suited for use in Webflow, ReadyMag, and Notion. Please note that generating a GIF animation may take some time. 
the resulting file size is larger than that of SVG, weighing in at around 13 megabytes, and its image quality is not as high. Nevertheless, GIF animations can be employed in Figma and function in prototype mode, allowing you to observe the recorded mouse movements in response to their trajectory. Additionally, the plugin supports WebM rendering, which is essentially a video file. Generating this type of file may also require some time. It can be converted to MP4 format using an external converter if desired. Note that to utilize video formats in Figma prototype, a paid Figma account is required. After the first release we have implemented a 3D functionality and integrated parallax effects that can be triggered through scrolling and zooming actions. So there you have it, a quick and easy guide to using the parallax plugin for Figma. Thanks for watching, and happy designing!